Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I'm back at it with the IT videos and today I'm going to walk you guys through the install of Windows Server 2022. So, language time, keyboard input method, checks out. English US. That is absolutely right, so you click next and then start it. Storm files and stuff takes a little bit. If you have a key, yes, right. I don't. So it's, we are installing 2022 data and desktop experience because I want to mess around with uh, every V. So, yeah, I do accept the terms. Install it as only. Yeah, there we go. That was quick. Mm, coffee break is this is going to take a bit. But I'm going to skip it so you guys can have actual figures of how long it takes. So. This might be a while. Uh, not too bad. Honestly, 9% already. Very impressive. Well, yeah, it's sort of my channel's own tradition to make uh, Windows Server videos. Even though my channel's more gearing towards uh, gaming nowadays, I still do a lot of IT, or more so I used to. And, like, the channel is mainly IT for so long, but I wanted to, like, diversify stuff, bring in more traffic, so... I added gaming to the bot, and as I'm not really a good gamer, I just, I went and did benchmarks. Is that something that you don't have to be skilled to do? Because otherwise, people would probably not watch me playing games, because I just, I'm not a good at it. But yeah, I've been... I made a channel initially, all the way back there in 2011, almost 10 years ago, with main intent of doing like tutorials, walkthroughs, and that's that was mainly what the channel was all about for a long time. So I covered Windows Server 2012, uh, 2016, 2019. So we're gonna live up to tradition and do 29, uh, 2022 as well. Jeez. I think about it. You're getting old boys. Windows Server 2022 already. That is the first was 2003. God. Getting old. Um Yeah, it's like they say in French, solo V, I guess. Yeah, I have lots of plans for going to Server 2022 once it gets out of technical preview. So the moment it's just a beta, so things are still being changed, being worked on, but once it officially uh, gets out there, I plan to a lot of videos. DNS, DHCP, AD, IIS, just like the good old days. Perhaps a little more technical now that I sure have an idea of what I'm doing to an extent. Because back, way back then, I didn't really. I just, and it worked. The, the tutorials actually worked, but I didn't really know much of what I was doing or what, why I was doing it. That's sort of why I got burned out as well. The fight TV videos. Because as much as I'm a hobbyist, I cannot actually afford the equipment to, to run like a home lab environment. So one day I just wondered, why the hell do I have so many virtual machines even though I really don't use them much other than when I'm recording? Because it's my personal rig. It's what I use for work and gaming and stuff. I cannot just make it my a home server and not play games and not do my stuff. So I kind of 
you know, took a break from it. What I plan to like regularly try out different operating systems and a couple Windows Server videos as well. I plan to do a little bit of what I used to do before, but a little more technical, more quality, something I can finally do because I've upgraded my computer so now I can actually run more VMs and do more stuff that I couldn't do, like actually run vCenter, which I I really could not before with just 16 gigabytes of RAM. The OGs remember how sad that was. A long time to get vCenter working and uh, RAM just could not cope with the whole thing because I needed like two hosts, a domain controller, and vCenter itself, which just vCenter would take 10 gigabytes of RAM. I figured out a way to like sort of cut the RAM in half, but that would make the disk bottleneck and I had just one disk for all the VMs. So everything just got way too slow. It was not usable at all. So I had to kiss the dream goodbye at a moment. I'm sorry, I can do IT. Yeah, I could do IT videos for a while now, ever since I got 32 gigabytes couple months ago, but I just didn't feel like it. I needed to, you know, think a lot of things true and come to the conclusion that, yeah, IT is what my channel needs. It's what brings in the most views, more than gaming. It's what brings in the money, so I cannot just ignore it. As much as I like doing my benchmarks and there is more numbers like you neo know, kind of and stuff, the, the, the advertising money is substantially lower. So IT is where it's at YouTube wise. And uh, that's the purpose, I guess. You know, if I ever want to really have proper home lab to run my experiments, kind of grind the IT videos. This time I'm going to be more specific so that it avoids misunderstanding. It's like the Windows Server 2019 video that I made a long time ago, which people would, people called me out for being a dumb reviewer and stuff, but it was an overview. It was not meant to be a review. So, like, you know, people misunderstood me and I was a little confused because the, the video title said like, read overview, Windows Server overview. And people were like, oh my God, this is like watching a um, puppet review a toaster or something like that. Bruh. It was not meant to be a review, so whatever, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be more specific this time. I'm going to try and be even more transparent. Say the things like, hey, this is an overview every like three minutes. So that that doesn't happen again. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so we add in them and password. Fantastic. Click finish. So we'll finalize settings. And God, that's quick. A lot quicker than usual, I gotta say. So you hit Control Del. And welcome to Windows Server 2022, I guess. Oops, sorry for that. I'm a little distant from my keyboard. The only way that I got pretty close to microphone, close and personal. And typos happen. Okay. Um, there we go. Windows Server 2022 Data Center Evaluation Copy. There you go. Simple as that. It's installed. As you guys can see, it's pretty, 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 pretty similar to Windows Server 2019, 2016, 2012. A lot has changed there. I'm going to do an overview later, like I did with Windows Server 2019. Perhaps I should wait a little bit because this one is still a very early, early copy. It's far away from release still. In a couple more months, I assume. I would say mid 2021. 
maybe mid late 2021 for an official release so i think still kind of early to just make my own overview but we could perhaps do a beta overview and look at what's new who knows oh yeah it's installed then of course if it's vmware or virtualbox install the tools and you're ready to go this is essentially it i hope you guys enjoyed it oops let me just fix there you go now you guys can see uh the whole screen sorry for that but yeah that's a quick video just need to keep the tradition going you know hope you guys enjoyed it. any any questions comment sections right down below feel free to just ask what everyone i'm always glad you help and feedback's always appreciated so y'all take care and goodbye